Good morning everyone, my name is Adele and welcome to Toadstool House Art. So I've got a bit of a busy day because I have a whole stack of Etsy orders to do uh, because my update went live um, and you know that's people have been ordering and that's given me a nice little boost. So yeah, thank you very much if, you'd, if you've ordered anything from my shop. Um, I'm trying to pack and get things sent out as quickly as possible. It is Tuesday, I had a lot of orders over the weekend, but I work Monday so I couldn't get out. Uh, but before I start packing anything, I need some breakfast. <laughs> uh, we don't have a lot of breakfast food in today, we've got no cereal and no bread, we've just run out. Um, so I am going to make uh, hash brown and eggs in, in wraps. Um, so yeah, it's a little bit warm and that does mean putting the oven on, but I'm hungry. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to have breakfast and then I will get to work. Okay, so I have a bunch of orders to do. Um, all of the, all of this in the middle here is for one order, so I think I'm gonna save that and just do it on um, TikTok because uh, I don't normally get orders this big, so I'd like to put that on there. Uh, but I do have a few more that I need to get packaged up, and this here is Salem's foot. Yeah, because he's refusing to sleep somewhere else. <laughs> Evil boy. So I, for this big order, I got um, two two of my new froggy friend pin, uh, pins, keyrings have gone, which is nice. Uh, and they also ordered a few of the new keyrings, which is great. Uh, I was really hoping people would like these. Oh, and they, they also had these sort of, I don't know which, I still haven't thought of a good name for these. I just keep calling them sort of like the Galaxy series, because that's sort of the colours that they are. And they ordered one of these froggy pins. Now I do need more of these um because a lot of them have sold out now uh yeah so i gotta go sort that out i did a stop check earlier but yeah now i need to reorder so i'm gonna put those to one side and get packing these so i've got an order for two of these and salem <laughs> give it so he's, he's just sprawled out on the table here and he's put his paws on everything that i need which is quite rude of him since he's not helping Okay, so I'm going to individually bag these because um, they fit better in the envelope that way. So yeah, thank you to everyone who's been ordering. I'm glad my shop update went uh, went well. Uh, I was actually up until um, like four in the morning <laughs> getting all that ready because uh, I really wanted it to coincide with last week's vlog. So I had to, and so I had to edit that and make sure everything was going to go up at the same time. So, ooh, where is my freebie badge? Ooh. Okay, my phone memory was full, so I just had to uh take all the, the footage off because I was um, out at the weekend I went to um, like a little market uh, and had a stall but I will, I'll, I'll put all that in the vlog later so but while I was taking all the footage off my phone I got another order so someone wanted a love frog which I can see the love frog being pretty popular and they also ordered two pins so they ordered the mushroom frog and ooh, too close and the good vibes frog which i can see being probably my most popular one 
Um, so that was great, but <laughs> then I had to go and open all the boxes again to get what I wanted. So that's that one done. Uh, that one's actually going to Australia. Oops, almost forgot the freebie. Uh, and I am always, always surprised uh, when someone orders my stuff from abroad because the postage is so expensive. Like, so... Like, sometimes I'll sell things um, to people in America and the postage is more than the items. Um, so yeah, I'm always surprised when someone's like, oh yeah, I loved your stuff enough, to, you know, to pay this extortionate amount of postage. Um, so yes, thank you. <laughs> right, so that one. Uh, yes. Yeah, those will go in the same bag. I don't know if it's too early, but I have been thinking about autumn a lot recently because uh, I've seen people like other artists and they are already like re releasing their autumn collections. Some people are already, they've already got their um, Halloween collections up and I have nothing. Um, I kind of know what I, I want to do, but I have not, like I'm not even started because um, it's like, it's been too, so hot. I can't think about, you know, like another season right now. Ah, uh, but which is not good because I really should have started this like at least a month ago um, to make sure I was absolutely ready and I am just not I'm gonna be late again um, I don't think I I don't think I had I've ever really done an autumn collection of products before but this time I really want to because autumn happens to be my favorite season so I, I can't not <laughs> so, I mean I'm already putting like I guess these are kind of autumn themed badges really uh, so I hope nobody minds <laughs> that I'm like putting aut autumn stuff in their uh, their orders already but uh, it's free nobody should mind right and I've had an order for just one of these pins I do really appreciate it by the way when people order like anything even if it's just like one item uh, it, <laughs> that still it still means a lot and it still helps my Etsy shop a lot um, so yes even if even if people only order one thing I really I really do appreciate it you know because <laughs> sometimes I get messages from people being like oh I've, I've only bought one thing because you know I'm not getting paid and it's like it's fine it's like absolutely why would you need to explain that to me it is fine like 100% is okay with me. Um, I appreciate anyone that likes my stuff enough to buy it anyway. Okay, so that's that one done. Good. All right. So yeah, then I just have this healthy looking pile to do, but that I will do uh, for TikTok. Okay, so I thought I was done packing orders, but no. <laughs> I just got a message uh, from someone asking uh, if they bought one of my pin displays, would it arrive in time for their son's birthday? Uh, just because I have my uh, delivery set to a bit longer on my handmade items. So I just explained that that's done like that because in case I run out basically and I have to print more, it gives me a few more days. Um, but at the moment I actually have a whole stack of this design ready to go. So I just said yeah, it'll be there in time. And she's just ordered it, so yay! One more to go. Uh, I do have... Uh, well, I do need to do more of these because I am all out of the Galaxy design, so that's not available right now. Uh, and the company I order um, the blank the blanks from, uh, they are sold out, so I can't get any more right now. However, I do think I have a few left somewhere in a box, so I'm going to have to find those out because I've got another convention at the weekend, um, and that's my most popular design, so I really need to get some of those. Uh, yes, but <laughs> I'm glad she ordered it just before I left because now I can take them all down to the post office together. Salem, are you looking after those Etsy orders? Yeah, they've got to go soon. Ooh, you naughty cat. Look at his little paws though. Oh, so tiny.
See? Oh, you ready? You ready for snacks? Oh, poor Elsa. So I've just been to the supermarket on my way back in the post office to pick up some chicken for Elsa here. Um, she had a bit of an ordeal yesterday. Um, we took her to the vet uh, two weeks ago, actually, because we found a lump on her jaw um, that we were really worried about. And the vet basically told us that he didn't know what it was um, and they should, she should go in for um, possibly a surgery just to find out what it is. Uh, but he gave her antibiotics and the antibiotics took the lump away by the next day. Um, so that was good. But she still went in because she needed her teeth cleaning and they said they wanted to look at her jaw and make sure it was really gone and there was nothing to worry about. Uh, and it was, which was good. Uh, but she still had to be sedated um, and go through all that and she came back after a few hours and she was a bit, she wasn't horribly wobbly or anything, she was just sad and unhappy because <laughs> Elsa, Elsa does not like people. Um, she likes us but she does not like strangers, she doesn't like going out of the house uh, and when she goes in the cat carrier to go to the vet she will meow and meow and she was very unhappy. Um, and now she has to stay inside for two days because the anaesthetic can make cats a little wobbly and she might fall off the roof. So, so yeah, so she's double unhappy. So I got her her favourite. And uh, yeah, hopefully in a few more days she, she will forgive us. Um, not guaranteed, but uh, eventually she usually does. And of course I have to feed the little monsters as well. <laughs> I had to shut them out of the kitchen so they wouldn't steal it from Elsa. Oh dear. Nom nom nom. So on Sunday uh, I went and I did a little artisan market uh, in a local uh, heritage centre. And it was nice and sunny so that was great. So we ended up set up right on the end of the row. But it, it was an okay day. It wasn't like... Um, I didn't sell like loads of stuff, but it was a nice day, but it turns out that there was a big event happening nearby. There was a food festival, so I'm not really surprised that we couldn't um, exactly compete with that. Uh, but I, I completely forgot to bring the cages that I set up on my table, so I ended up hanging the handbags from the gazebo. So, but alright, overall it was fine. And I put this big froggy on the end um, because he gets a lot of attention. Okay, so, yeah, my t-shirt is amazing, just saying. Uh, but that's not what I want to talk about. Um, oh, and sorry for the background noise, the dehydrator's on, so it, you might pick that up. I have been purchasing things, right? Okay, I have to be careful. <laughs> for reasons I don't understand, I bought this the other day. Um, I, don't, I don't know, I don't know why. Um, it's cute though, right? It says the wool pack. Uh, not sure where it's from. There's no sticker or anything. It was cute and I wanted it. So I got that from a charity shop. Um, and then went, went across the street to another charity shop. And I'll show you what else I got. Oh. A biscuit tin thing also shaped like a cottage and this one is called the old tea shoppy um yeah again not sure why anyway the lady in the shop is like do you collect teapots and i was like haha I, I guess i do now um you know because i just said to her i've just been over to the other charity shop and i bought that first one it's not till today that i've realized that i went into that second charity shop a week or two ago and I bought these I bought a bunch of tiny teapots in the shape of food because I have a corn one I have one which is a, a cabbage I'm guessing um, I also have what I think is an apple and a pear and they still have the tape on to keep their lids on not even that, this is not the end, right? And while I was there two weeks ago, I picked up this as well, because it was just a pound, and I was like, well, I'm getting the others, may as well. So, I collect teapots now? 
Have I hit that age? Is this what is this normal? Is this what happens to people? You hit an age and you start collecting teapots? Cause I don't I don't have I, <laughs> I wasn't collecting them before two weeks ago and now I have five six. I have six. I have six and the biscuit thing. Um Yeah, not really sure what's happening. Uh I have nowhere to put them. Uh they are cute though. Uh and I don't know why I'm suddenly interested in. Because I'm generally not into, um, hey, this thing looks like a food, but it's not a food. Uh, like the cabbage teapot. And yet, the other day I was like, oh, but look, it's so small. <laughs> so, uh, and that's not, these aren't the only things I've been buying. Uh, I got this mug at the same time as I got the mini teapots. I think it was like 50p. And I don't know why I like this, but I do. Maybe because it was 50p, but I don't know. I don't know. It's just a green and brown mug, which isn't my usual colour scheme, but why not? And yeah. The other day I also got a tray with some flowers on, some poppies and not daisies. I don't know what they are. But yeah, so now I have that and again, don't know why, I have this, this um, wax burner candle holder thing. Um, yeah, I got that at the same time as I got the, the big teapot, and I just, I just wanted it. Does this go with anything else I own? No. But look, it has a flower on the top, so I had to get that too, I guess. Jeez. <laughs> so now I'm going to have to um, find a place for all these things. Uh, they do need a bit of a wipe down, I think they've been on the shelves for a bit too long. But yes weird random charity shop haul that I didn't know I was going to be doing today. Um, I just remembered because I, I left the bag with the teapots in um, on the floor and I've just seen Salem trying to climb in it and I've seen the teapot on top slowly going over and I'm like oh my god he's gonna smash it. So yeah I've completely forgotten about it. Uh, so yeah <laughs> random teapot haul. Oh dear. Anyway um, Elsa is fine um she since she can't go out she hasn't been able to go out for two days now because we're on wednesday she can go out tomorrow um she's been sulking uh she's been sulking in my room she can get into the corner and she can get uh there's some shelves in the corner of my room and my desk is like almost up to the shelves so she can get under there and she that's like her own little space she like takes a nap on top of the box there a lot um but she's just been in there and not refusing to come out unless i give her chicken um <laughs> So she's just being a, she's been a sulky face, but apart from that, she's all right. Anyway, I'm gonna have to leave this vlog here. Uh, I'm not quite sure how long this one's gonna be, possibly not very long. Um, but this weekend, I am back in Manchester for another. It's not a convention. It is a a Japanese uh, culture festival. So it's called Doki Doki. Uh, I've been to it several times now, selling um, and and as a customer, I started going as a customer first thing. And it's really good. It's in the same venue I've been to many times before. And they have um, a lot of performances from martial arts to music to fashion. They put, there's two halls and there's four stages. And they just, like the whole day is like crammed with stuff. And you can just go and watch, you know, whatever, whatever you're interested in. If you're not interested in the fashion, you can go watch the martial artists do whatever they're doing. And they have these talks on as well. And it's all about the culture of Japan. Now, they do have stall holders and artists, so in a way it kind of is like a little convention. Um, it's really good though, it's really nice. Um, and I booked this, I want to say two years ago, but it can't be more than three. No, no, it wasn't, it, yeah, 20, yeah, yeah, we didn't do 2020 or 2021. So yeah, I've had this on my calendar for a long time. Can't wait to get back, honestly. Uh, I'm hoping the stall that sells the, the miniature cakes is there. There's like the stall that sells Japanese desserts and they have uh, these matcha cakes, the, you know, the green tea. Ah, oh, love those. Um, and I'm not just saying that because sometimes at the end of the day they sell them for one pound. <laughs> so yeah, but I have lots to do for that because uh, it is Wednesday now and I usually film like at least till Thursday, maybe till Friday, but I need to get this vlog up because I have to recount my badges again. <laughs>
Ugh, it's my life, I need to recount them, make any that I'm low on, I know I'm low on several different designs. Uh, I also need to print some more of my pin displays because the Galaxy one r ran out of my last convention so I need to make more for this one. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> uh, thank you very much for watching and I will see you all again next week. Bye!